So get this, that certain Aquaman starlet decided to betray James Franco and 88 other people that took the stand by putting out their contact info, doxing them to the public. That's right. Yeah, during pre-trial and into the trial as well, you had that certain Aquaman starlet releasing dozens and dozens of people's contact info into the wild where anyone could pick that up, knowing in the aftermath that millions of people would end up seeing this stuff, they would end up looking up documentation. And like I said, you have the addresses of James Franco. I've redacted that, of course. You have the info of Paul Bettany. I mean, this is another person attached to Hollywood that doesn't want their information out there. And you have other big, big names that were added to this stuff, too. Like Joanne Murray, for example. Who's Joanne Murray, you might ask? Well, you might know them as J.K. Rowling. Why include them in this stuff? Because they decided to stand up for J.D. with Fantastic Beasts 2. Can't have that happening. They also included the Rocket Man. That's right, Rocket Man himself, the guy that has dropped millions on this, but the guy that, well, there's a lot of things that were said about how they didn't care about them, how they didn't care about what happens to them. They're included on the list as well. And get this, if that certain Aquaman starlet would have had their way, this would have just been the tip of the proverbial iceberg. They wanted to throw out the information of over 200 individual Twitter users on that, too. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this today. This stuff, it is insane. An absolute bombshell. Many people they don't know about, share it wide. Let people know. Crazy times, huh? crazy times indeed. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day by the way. I hope you were doing excellently and just to say how crazy this behavior has been. It goes all the way back to 2019 and it continues all the way through. Now with that certain Aquaman starlet taking documents, sometimes taking documents from JD, documents that either weren't uploaded because they were classified, or documents that were uploaded but redacted, and uploading the entirety of it, knowing full well the damage that would happen. That's exactly what happens with this document right here in front of you, for example. A document, like I was saying, that includes the likes of James Franco. James Franco, you think that he won't step up and he won't do what you want? Hey, put out his contact info, I suppose. Paul Bettany, oh, that guy, he has a career with Marvel. You don't like that guy, you don't like what he represents, especially with JD. Oh, why not do the same? In fact, when you look at this, I mean, look at what's listed here. Identify each person having any knowledge of your information about any of the claims or defense in this case, included and not limited to. Number one, substance use. You know, that was an integral part of that certain Aquaman Starlet's case so far. Well, you... You need to identify all of them so they can put their information out there. Damage of property. Acts of, I'm going to say, volatility. Abuse in any form of any romantic partner and relationship with that certain Aquaman starlet. Now, the insane thing about this is when you look at this list, of course, like I was saying, you have people like James Franco that are included. Also included here, you have people like Eric George. Who is Eric George, you might ask? Well, Eric George is the lawyer that spilled the tea on that certain Aquaman starlet. They're the ones that informed us of everything about them, essentially betraying that certain Aquaman Starlet, so their information too. Oopsie, it also made it into the public stage. Now, like I was saying, there were other really big names that were added to this as well. Number 54. I thought number 54 really stood out because Joanne Murphy, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling, made the list. Now, granted, not everyone's contact info ended up on this list, but this thing, it was unceremoniously dropped into the public. So, again, if anyone was listed here, they had any contact info, that certain Aquaman starlet, they threw them out there. And J.K. Rowling, that would be somebody that they did not want because, again, she wouldn't allow J.D. to be fired from Fantastic Beasts, too. Again, 
even the rocket man ends up on this list. Why? Because the rocket man, as you heard from her, she didn't really care about him. Oh, sure, he could spend millions and millions on this case. He could basically pay for the defense, too. But hey, put his information out there. And the amazing thing about all of this is it didn't matter what type of collateral damage was done. You know, people that actually stood up for that certain Aquaman starlet, they were on this list, too. They ended up getting exposed as well because, hey, you know, the unfortunate byproduct of putting out information. But yeah, I mean, when you look at this, you have people like Adam Waldman. Adam Waldman has been their big boogeyman throughout this case. They wanted to go after him just as bad as they've wanted to go after JD. Well, they put his information out in the public, but they also, they put out the ex-lawyer of that certain Aquaman starlet. They put out their name attached to this too, and Samantha Spector. That's the person that came up with the idea of claims all the way back in 2016 that benefited that certain Aquaman starlet. You had Marty Singer. That's another lawyer that that worked with them. And along with that, you also had the close relations for J.D. I mean, we're talking about J.D.'s sister. She's listed prominently. You can see her at number 16. She ended up testifying in this, and all of her information was put out there. You also, if you notice this, you have Isaac B. You know, Isaac B. that went on the stand. He had quite a bit to say about this. He was also friendly with that certain Aquaman starlet. He was complimentary for them throughout most of this. Didn't matter. Got to do that to him. They even listed the physician for both J.D. and that certain Aquaman starlet, plus their nurses. I mean, again, anybody that could be damaged in this, anyone that decided that they would stand up, they would say anything at all. All of those people, they ended up getting betrayed. That wasn't the only time that happened either. Oh no, not by a long shot. And the interesting thing is, it wasn't going to be limited to Hollywood folks or people that were surrounding JD or even that certain Aquaman starlet. They also wanted to be able to put out the contact info of just ordinary people like yourself and myself. In fact, they subpoenaed Twitter for the information of over 200 random users. They said they were bots and they were going to find out who and what they are, but they wanted their connected IP addresses where they had signed on in the past. So if you had signed on to Twitter, oh, they wanted to know where you were connecting, where you worked. Basically, if you signed on at a family residence, they would know about that as well. I mean, every single detail of just 200 people to start, they had tracked 16,000 people all told. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that certain Aquaman starlet was getting up to for years. And this, oh, it needs to be exposed. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Also, we have a link in the description that is for our book. Companies allowed this stuff to happen. They backed it. The Warners out there, they denigrated their customers while doing this too. Walk away from them. When you walk away though, help us send a message. Help us send it loudly. Help us back that, making it as big as we can. Thank you too. Put this information out there. Appreciate you being here. And that I'm going to end with. Thank you.